meet people these days, doesn't it? Um, would you excuse me? I've got a wee bit of a dilemma. I have an urgent need, a pressing need that needs to be relieved now. It's sort of pressing on my bowel and my bladder and I can't find any loo paper. Uh, one moment. Mm. Ah. Oh, wonderful, just what I need. I'll be back in two ticks. Actually, this dilemma gives me a very good question. Why do we use toilet paper and not other kinds of paper? Hmm. I like using toilet paper because it's nice and um, sort of soft. Because it's the stuff that you use. It's not hard and it doesn't hurt. Because it goes in the bathroom. It feels more comfy. It wouldn't be nice with thin paper. better. Well, those were some good ideas. But really, in an emergency, I think just about any paper would do, wouldn't it? You know, I think we use toilet paper. Thank you. Because it comes in a handy roll, and it's easy to get lots of it when you need it. But you know, us humans are the only creatures on Earth that use toilet paper, and we've only been using it for about a hundred years. Maybe it's time to investigate toilet paper. Ugh. But I'd better wash these first, hadn't I? Now, there are certain things that I require from the paper that I'm going to use in the toilet. And they are, number one, the paper needs to tear easily and neatly at the perforations. That's the line of holes. Number two, it needs to be strong, especially when wet. And number three, it has to be gentle and soft on my delicate nether regions. So I'm going to put these papers to the ultimate test. In the orange corner, we have newspaper, a wordy, witty little number that wants to have the competition wrapped up like two fish and one chip in no time. In the green corner, we have Sam. And in the purple corner, we have toilet paper! Now, toilet paper is a bit of a lightweight, but he knows the bottom business better than anyone, and he wants to wipe the competition out. Let this competition begin. The Tear Test. Newspaper swoops in with swiftness. It doesn't really get his words worth. Now, toilet paper is a little casual as he steps into the ring. He's an old hand at this game. He knows the bottom business well. And look at that performance. Sandpaper makes the next move. But his tough guy attitude may prove to be his downfall. Winner for this round of the competition. Toilet papers flood the opposition. In this round of the competition, we find out which of our papers is the tough guy. First of all, we squirt water onto the paper. Then a two gram weight is added. Oh, toilet paper showing signs of the strain already. Add the load and... Oh, it's bearing up, but... but oh, no! It dropped down with a splash! Newspaper is gritting its teeth. But when you gotta go, you got to go! Sandpaper is looking good. It's a master of this hold position. He's strong. He's the winner of this round. Your posterior is a very sensitive place. Luckily, it's completely covered most of the day, so it's well protected. And although you may crash down on it occasionally, it hardly gets the scrapes and grazes that the rest of your body can get. But the skin is tender. It needs to be treated gently. 
So one of the most important tests is the softness test. Now there are lots of different ways to test for softness, but I'm going to go with the reality test. And I'll start with this first paper, newspaper. One moment please. say that it was soft. In fact, it was a bit scratchy. And if my fingers are anything to go by, my bottom's dirtier than when I started to wipe it. Oh, it's only ink from the newspaper. That's all, nothing else. Right, paper number two. Sandpaper. Oh, I'm not too sure about this lot. Oh well, here goes. Try paper number three. Oh, the things I do for science. Okay, toilet paper. Oh, oh bliss. So soft and smooth and soothing on a sore bottom. Let's check out those results. Toilet paper did very well in the tear test, better than the newspaper, and much better than the sandpaper. But toilet paper didn't have the same strength as the sandpaper. However, when it came to softness, of the papers we tried, toilet paper was a clear winner! Although the first flush toilets were used in about 1500 BC, Nobody thought to invent toilet paper until around 1880. Now, prior to that, you had two choices of cleaning your bottom. If you lived in the east, your left hand was used, and your right hand was used for just about everything else. If you lived in the west, and in the countryside, you used a broad leaf, something like this. And whilst in town, you employed the use of a nifty little scraper, like an empty mussel shell. Yow! But luckily for us, in 1880, a charming chap at the British Perforated Paper Company invented toilet paper as we know it. <laughs> and if he was here today, I'd be giving that boy a big sloppy kiss. Hello, Susie M. Cam, getting to the bottom of the toilet tissue. Well, two different woods, radiator softwood and eucalypt hardwood are used. Here's the Caxton Pulp and Paper Mill in Kawarau in the Bay of Plenty. Here's the wood being chipped and then pulped in huge vats and softened with special chemicals. Then it's washed, pressed and dried in preparation for thousands of bottoms. Well, there's the dried pulp being mixed with other bits and pieces in the pulper. Now it's getting rolled onto a jumbo roll for the bigger bottom ready to be cut into normal toilet rolls. Voila! From the tree to your bottom, just like that. That seems like a lot of work to make something that gets very dirty very quickly and then gets thrown away never to be used again. Oh yes, you'll be pleased to know, recycled toilet paper is not made from used toilet paper, but from other recycled paper products. Phew! If you'd like a fact sheet for this or any other Susie's World program, write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland. Toodaloo. Now the lot. Oh, sorry. So this. No, sorry. It's completely covered. It's covered even. Clothing. to New Zealand on air, we couldn't have done it without you.